Good evening. This game gets an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Now, here's why. If you're an enjoyer of the Resident Evil or Dead Space series, you will surely be reminded of them in the gameplay. This game can casually take you from 4 hours to never finishing it, because it is very tough, just like classic Resident Evil. It's a game where you gotta learn to adopt similar playstyles as playing on higher difficulty Resident Evil games. Which is dodging enemies, aiming for the head, and being ready at all times for an enemy to quite literally pop up out of nowhere. That's where you need to save often in the game's save rooms. Keep in mind, there's many ways to go about this game, and it does get kind of fun when you figure stuff out. Pro tip, you don't need to have your gun or ammo on the hotbars to use them. Also, this is named 82. Like it's a sequel, but actually it's a prequel to the first game. So you can start these in any order. The story is non-existent aside from reading notes about the lore. Which to sum up is, crazy scientists take women, make women look like clones, use them as smex dolls, and that's about it. But you are a special one that is designed to escape. Or at least tries to. The downsides to this game are simply the difficulty, which is subjective, since it's meant to be hard. The aiming is weird and will either get you killed or save you. And the game not really making sense at all. The way items are scattered around will either make you enjoy having to memorize where things are and having to go to save rooms to stash things often or will make you frustrated with the logic of why do you need forceps to get a vital key card from a vent and who in their right mind would put that together? Ever. There is for sure some things that will make you search for a guide, or hours of meticulously scanning each room to see what's there and what might be needed. It would be nice if they updated the game to at least give you a silhouette of the item that's required. And lastly, if you enjoy the thickness, this game is undoubtedly for you. Just look at these very, quote, useful movement options. Also, I'm showing this because there is a glitch where you get stuck and can't move. So if you do this by crouching, then at the same time aiming and crouching, pressing back and back again, then jump, You'll get out of it. Keep this in mind. Also, there's this one where you won't get staggered. Still yet to find a use for it. I decided to include this at the end since it's important, but this didn't affect my score since game should be enjoyable without mods. At least at first. Of course, if you get the Steam version, you get the Steam Workshop mods, which is the best thing about this game. You can be many characters of many thickness levels, and or make this game into a different game even. Or just get some quality of life stuff to make a casual playthrough more bearable. And that's it for this video. Want to suggest a game for me to review? Leave it in the comments. I'll be posting lots more, of course.